Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to set up KuCoin's free futures grid bot using their new interface for actually configuring the parameters of their grid bot. So, with that being said, let's get right to it. Now, for starters, you will obviously need a KuCoin account. And if you don't have a KuCoin Exchange account, I will drop a link in the description down below. And if you use my link, you will actually receive a discount on all of your trading fees. And that would include a discount on the trading fees for your grid bots. Now, once you have set up your KuCoin account, you obviously want to make sure you have some funds available over in your trading account. And in this case, I will be trading BTC USDT. So I just need to make sure I have USDT available. And as you can see, I do have some funds available. So now I'm ready to get this bot deployed. And so I can just scroll over here to the trade tab and scroll down to trading bot pro. This is their new interface for their grid trading bots which as you can now see when you get ready to configure your parameters for your spot bot or in this case we'll be trading the futures grid bot so i just click on futures grid bot and that will bring up a chart along with the grid lines now if you're not familiar with how a grid bot actually operates it's extremely basic. It sells on the way down and it buys on the way up. Now the twist with the futures grid bot is you can go long or short. So you could be taking profit on a long position when the price is going up. And on the flip side, if you're going short, then you're taking profit as the price goes down. And so for the purposes of today's video, I will be deploying a grid bot on the short side. So each time the price hits one of these green lines, which are essentially open limit orders, it will buy or take profit. And on the flip side, when the price takes out any of these red lines or open limit sell orders, it will essentially sell the position short. And thus, in this case, since I'm short, it will be raising my average price of my position. And so when the price goes back down, I will start taking profit in the form of buying back Bitcoin. And that is how a short bot works. And so again, the concept of the grid bot is to buy low, sell high. And depending on if you're long or short, you take profit on the long side when you're selling. And if you're short, you're taking profit on the buy side when the price is actually going down. Now that you have the basic understanding of how a grid bot operates, you're ready to deploy your grid bot. And if you're a beginner, you could certainly select auto, which KuCoin would set up automatically for you, including the leverage of 2x. It has a price range of a lower limit of 16.3 and an upper limit of 22.1. Number of orders placed would be 65 and then profits per grid. This includes the fees. It would be around 0.55% to 0.83%. And at this point you could click short or long. In reality with the auto configuration, pretty much the only thing you are going to need to set up is how much ammo you want to give the bot and you could do like 500 USDT. And then lastly, you could select the advanced settings and set up a stop price or a take profit price. Now, personally, I configure my own bots based on my own parameters. So in that case, I need to click on customize. And then I need to select whether I want this bot to be long or short. In this case, I want it to be short with the low price at around 16.5. And then the high price I'm going to set at 25,000. Now I need to determine the number of placed orders, essentially how many grids do I want this bot to have. And let's start with something like 30 grids. And now you can see the grid lines have populated the chart and the spacing between each one of these grids, also known as grid spacing, would be approximately 1.2% to 1.59%. That would essentially determine my profit per grid with the fees already deducted would be somewhere between 1% to 1.59%. Now I can determine how much ammo I want to give the bot. In this case, it's telling me I would need a minimum of 724 USDT. So let's just do 725 and now you can see the estimated liquidation price would be 44,000 USDT I don't think Bitcoin is going to reach that anytime in the near future 
And so I think I'd be safe with that liquidation price. However, you certainly should always set up a stop loss so that you don't actually get liquidated. You never want to get liquidated. And so you could do a stop loss price of 40,000 USDT and that would keep you from getting liquidated. But with that all being said, I am going to actually increase the leverage from 1x, which is as close as you can get to zero leverage. And if you're going for zero leverage, you might as well trade a spot bot unless of course you want to go short then you kind of need to do a futures bot in order to get short but nonetheless i am going to bump up my leverage from 1x to 3x and now with leverage of 3x my profit went from essentially one percent to three times that amount which is now three percent to 4.78 percent so by using a little leverage i've increased my profit potential but i've also increased my risk potential also by increasing my leverage the minimum amount i actually have to invest has actually decreased by essentially 3x and so in this case my minimum investment would need to be 242 so if we do 250 usdt now you can see my estimated liquidation price has dropped from 44,000 all the way down to 28,784. Now Bitcoin could certainly reach this price, but it has a lot of resistance at at least 25,000 for certain. So with that in mind, I wanna set my stop price at a level that I won't get liquidated. And so I would set my stop price at say 27.5, and that would avoid my position from getting completely liquidated. Now for a take profit price, you might put a take profit price somewhere below the bottom of your grid. That way if the price keeps going down and your bot's essentially no longer trading because it's no longer within range, you might wanna go ahead and take profit. In this case, that would be under 16.5 and if Bitcoin's price reached 15.5, I'd be happy enough to go ahead and take my profit at that level. Now the last advanced setting option I have is entry price. Now if I didn't want the bot to deploy at the current market price, I could enter a price here. However, for this particular strategy, I'm comfortable deploying the bot at the current market price. Now before I deploy this bot on BTC USDT, if you're looking for more volatility, more action, then you can come over here to the list of coins available and click on volatility and that will list out the assets with the highest current volatility like for instance atom which would be one of the top coins that i do trade on a regular basis currently does have fairly high volatility in its price and compared to bitcoin bitcoin was around two and a half percent versus almost eight and a half percent so you might switch over to atom and then one other option I do want to point out, if the grids aren't showing up on your chart, it could be that the show grids is not currently checked off. So if you just check that off, it'll put the grids right back onto the chart for you. So I'm ready to go ahead and get this bot deployed. And so the parameters for this particular bot, obviously I'm going short and the leverage that I'm going to work with will be 3x leverage. I have my lowest level set at 16.5, my highest level set at 25,000. The number of open orders or grids in this case are 30. The profit per grid with the fees already deducted are anywhere between 3% to 4.78%. I have given the bot 250 USDT in ammo. Under the advanced settings, which are optional, I set a stop loss at 27,000 because my liquidation price was at this 28.7 level. And then I have my take profit price set at 15.5. If Bitcoin dumps all the way down to 15.5, I'll be more than happy to take my profit and perhaps look at an opportunity to deploy a long grid bot. So the last thing I need to do is click create short an order confirmation pops up letting me know 250 USDT will be transferred from my trading account over to the GridBot account. And then I get a recap of all the parameters. The pair is BTC USDT. The leverage is basically 3x. The range is 16.5 to 25,000. Number of orders is 30. Profits per grid is 3% to 4.78%. 
estimated liquidation price 287 i don't want to get liquidated so i have a stop loss price set at 27000 and then my take profit price is set at 155 click confirm and now the bot has been deployed and if i scroll down here to the bottom of the screen i can find it under the running bots and so i think that pretty much wraps it up for this video i will do an update on how this bot is actually performing in the near future so now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button if you like this video do me a favor spike a like if you have any questions or comments drop them in the comment section down below and I will drop a link to KuCoin in the description down below. If you use my link to sign up with KuCoin, you will receive at least a 10% discount on your trading fees. And so with that all being said, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.